Hello, I'm Dr. David John Lincoln. I was born in London and have spent a lot of time traveling all over the world. As you can see, I'm over 21. And over the years, I've picked up all sorts of trainings, both formal and informal. I started life with a degree in psychology from the London School of Economics. And from there, I took advanced degrees in psychology, finishing with a PhD. I also went on to study naturopathy and have an MD in naturopathy. And along the way, I picked up NLP. I started studying NLP probably just over 20 years ago now. And I found it very interesting. I start, when I started learning NLP, I was doing clinical psychology. And I first thought, no, this isn't going to work. And then I found myself actually doing NLP with my patients in a clinical setting. So with this experience, I thought, wow, I must learn more about NLP. And then I carried on becoming a master practitioner of NLP, then moved on to training and being a trainer of NLP. And now, over the last few years, I'm a master trainer of NLP. I'm more or less concentrating teaching people NLP. I also teach psychotherapy and coaching. So basically, I'm a psychologist who teaches NLP, psychotherapy and coaching. So thank you and I will tell you some more about NLP. Many people ask me, what is NLP? And this is a good question. And of course it has many answers. The primary answer is to answer it in the way that it was written, Neural Linguistic Programming. Neural is about the connections in your brain. The neural connections in your brain and linguistic is about the language. The language you use to speak outside and the language you use to speak inside. Probably more important is the language you use to yourself, to instructions you give yourself. And programming is a way of putting all that together. And when we realize that what you say to yourself has a lot of effect, then you might as well say the right things. So neuro linguistic programming, in a nutshell, is about saying the right things to make you the best person that you can be. Now you may ask, why should I do NLP? Well, basically, NLP enhances anything you do. So if you're a doctor, a dentist, a road sweeper, a housewife, or whatever it is you do, if you add the NLP tools to your work, you will become the best at being the housewife, the road sweeper, the doctor, the dentist, or whatever it is you do. So, you may be asking, what are the advantages of NLP? Now, NLP, as I said earlier on, would make you better at doing whatever it is you do. So, of course, the most obvious advantage is that it improves your lifestyle. Now, if you improve your life, all those around you will also improve. Remember one thing, you can't change another person. You can change you. And NLP has the techniques and the power to change you. So that's probably one of the greatest advantages of NLP over other processes that you may learn is that NLP gives you the tools to change you for the better. So now we've talked about how to change you, who would benefit the most from NLP? Well, of course, everybody in all the professions, teachers, doctors, dentists, nurses, all these people will benefit greatly from NLP because one of the four pillars of NLP, the things that hold NLP together, is something called rapport. And rapport is a way that you could be liked and liked by other people. In fact, we often say rapport stands for Rarely all people prefer others resembling themselves. So rapport and all the other tools of in, that we have within NLP will certainly help you tremendously.
So one of the other thoughts that people have is, okay, so how will it help me in my personal development? Well, of course, personal development is about understanding how you think and how you tick. And NLP is very much about knowing what happens inside your brain. How does your brain work? And how does your brain help you to achieve all the goals that you want to achieve? Therefore, as personal development is all about you getting better, NLP has the tools that help you get better. And so NLP is a number one personal development tool that you could use. So we've talked about personal tools. What about your professional life? Well, most people in their professional life spend a lot of time communicating with other people, either directly on the telephone or via email or letters. NLP is a very powerful tool in communication. We have a lot of communication language patterns that make sure that your point gets across correctly and without leaving any doubt as to the message you want to deliver to the other person. So that's one of the many, many ways that NLP can help in a professional life. And we haven't even covered all the tools available to help you motivate people, motivate yourself, and a number of other things in NLP, all designed to help you become better and therefore help you in your professional life as well. All our courses that we run are fully certified NLP courses, certified through various certifying body. Here in India, of course, we certify through the ANLP India. Now, in America, we'll probably certify through ANLP USA, the same as we would do in England or Australia or any other country, because NLP is a family of people, not just in one country, but in every country in the world. So yes, all our courses are certified, and particularly the ones that are signed by me, because I'm an international trainer of NLP and known everywhere in the world. In fact, if you look at NLP, and you look at some of the people that have done NLP, loads of famous people have done NLP, Oprah Winfrey. It's even rumored that Mr. Obama has studied NLP. In fact, everybody in, in life who's got somewhere famous has in fact done something with NLP. Loads of entertainers have studied NLP uh, because they know that NLP is the paramount tool to help you get rapport with other people, get rapport with yourself. It's a paramount tool that enables you to relax, enables you to be the best that you can possibly be. Now, another thing that NLP helps is helps you to become more knowledgeable. Not necessarily because you're learning NLP, but one of the factors of NLP is not learning NLP itself, but learning how to learn. Even learning has a methodology about it. And when you understand the methodology, you'll be able to learn things a lot easier, a lot more simple and more inspiring for you. So NLP has the tools to help you learn as well. So what more do you need? Tools to learn, tools to improve yourself with other people, tools to improve yourself in business. Everything that you need is there encompassed within NLP. NLP is a science and an art. It's a science of how the brain works and it's an art of how you use your brain. And of course, all art forms are to a certain extent spiritual. Spirituality is about how we behave in the world, how we understand the world around us. And NLP goes a long way to help you understand the world about you. And if you understand the world about you and you understand how your own brain works, then yes, you are in a much better spiritual position in life. So NLP is an art, a science, 
and you could also say has a spiritual element to it as well. So NLP was put together in the late middle to late 1970s and it was put together by two guys one of which was had an interest in psychology and the other had an interest in linguistics. And around this time in the early 1970s there was a lot of people that were actually changing people's thoughts and behavior just by using words. So of course a linguistic professor would be very interested in how this works and of course psychology as well. So you might say that NLP was born out of psychology and it then extended into all walks of life, into business, into therapy, into everything that you can think about. Because basically when you're interacting with other human beings, that is psychology. And NLP has a lot of tools that help you interact with another human being. Often people ask, okay, can I use NLP in illness and treatments of illness? The simple answer is yes, and the more complicated answer is probably no. Now, I know that sounds a bit silly, I should say that, but first of all, we've got to consider what an illness is, what a disease is, what a problem is. Now, the first thing you have to do is get that properly diagnosed by a medical practitioner of some description and take the necessary medicines and precautions that they give you. Now, if you add NLP to that and the positive thinking side of NLP and the way your body will heal itself if you give it the correct instructions to do so, those two things combined together make you heal faster than just having medicine on its own. So in a way, NLP does help you to heal. I have to say though that NLP is not a healing modality. It's not a modality to take over from doctors and other medical professionals. It is a modality that goes alongside existing medical and other such uh, interventions. It goes alongside it and makes those interventions even more powerful. I suppose in a way you could say it is empowering you to be able to be more powerful in what you do. Some people would like to call that willpower. I'm not so keen on using the words willpower. I'm more keen on using the words using all your brain to work on helping you to get better. Because your brain told you to get ill in the first place to a certain extent and your brain is the bit that's going to start pushing all your cells to start getting better. It's going to start pumping the best quality blood around you and that's all done by your brain. So brain power would be a better word to use than willpower. Now a lot of people say, okay, but I'm just an ordinary Joe, I'm just a normal person, so why should I do NLP? Well, this is very simple really, because there's no such thing as a normal person. We're all kings in our own world. We all have, the own, we all have our own things that we want to achieve. We all have goals that we want to achieve, whether it's just to get more money at work, whether to have a better relationship, whether to get a relationship in the first place. We all have these, what we call NLP goals. So NLP helps you achieve those goals, helps you to find ways that you can become the best at whatever it is you want to do. If you say, I'm just an ordinary person, that's fine. How about being the best ordinary person in the universe? And that's what NLP will help you do will help you achieve all your goals, help you achieve dreams that were otherwise even unavailable to anybody. So when you come and do an NLP course, there will be many things that you will learn. One of them, of course, is the ability to speak to everybody comfortably, rapport. Another one will be your ability to understand and listen to what other people say. You see, we communicate to each other through language. 
And we always believe that we clearly understand what other people say, when in fact we don't. So another thing you will learn is how to listen correctly to other people's dialogue. You will also learn how to get rid of phobias in other people. You will also learn how to help other people become the best they can. We have techniques like the circle of excellence. We have techniques like rewriting past history. All of these things and more you will learn on your NLP practitioner course. In fact, we say that the practitioner level contains two thirds of the process and one third of the knowledge. And most of the processes are the ones you're going to be using straight away to help you, help the family around you and your, fam and your children and your families. So if I could just elaborate a little bit more on what I was saying, what, one of the things that made NLP famous was its famous 10 minute phobia cure. Now, phobias have been around forever. And not everybody has a phobia, but when you do have a phobia, it's deliberating. It stops you doing things. It makes you scream and shout. You can't go into lifts, you can't go into aircrafts, you can't get up on stage and talk. And these phobias in the past took a long time and a lot of patience with psychologists to desensitize you to the uh, problem that you were having. Now, with the advent of NLP's fast phobia cure, that phobia can be cured and gone completely within 10 minutes. So that's one of the things that you're going to be able to learn and use immediately. There are many, many other things that you're going to be able to learn and use immediately once you've done your NLP training. Thank you for this time and listening to me. And I hope to see you all very soon on an NLP training course somewhere near to you. Thank you.